Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Harpoon IPA. Harpoon IPA, hoppy, balanced, crisp, 6%, 42 IBU. This is New England's original IPA. This beer was first brewed in 1993. So it's pretty old school. Okay. May well be Harpoon's first beer ever for all I know. I'm not really sure, but this is probably the first IPA that they brewed. I'm gonna guess. Um, let's read this can a little bit. Employee owned Harpoon IPA, hoppy, balanced, crisp, 6% alcohol by volume, 42 IBU. India Pale Ale. Pretty basic. Pretty basic, yeah. Uh, can art just features like the Harpoon Brewery in Boston, Massachusetts and Windsor, Vermont. So they have two locations, Windsor, Vermont, Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, really? This can features both of them, which mm. is pretty cool. I thought they were only located in Boston. No, they got two. Oh. Um, says New England's original IPA, employee owned Harpoon IPA, 6%, 42 IBU. Hoppy Balanced Crisp, that's it. Pretty basic can art. As it pours, it looks like a West Coast IPA. Yeah. Slight haze to it, but that could just be some uh, some some cold beer in the glass. Has yeah. that kind of uh, golden slash amber Yeah, color more, more to on it. the amber side, this yeah, one. Yeah, which is traditional of West Coast style IPAs. Very nice head, like very good kind of like look to it, very bright white. Clean. I have to say that this new New England's original IPA tactic that they're putting on cans, I feel like that might be a bit misleading, and I'm not sure if they purposely put that in there for the purpose of shouting out to all the hazy New England IPAs that uh, now yeah. are, are so popular that I think people might see that and think, and think it's a hazy that this is going to be a hazy beer. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I don't know uh, how that will be interpreted by people, but this is not a New England style IPA. Mm -hmm. This is New England's original IPA. Total difference. Let's uh, get a nose on this one and see what we're looking at. Danky. Yep, danky. It's got a very hop forward sort of character. A little grainy, a little florally. A little malty, yeah. That smells like a West Coast IPA. Yeah, truly uh, smells like a classic West Coast style. Maybe a little grapefruit zest in there. Yeah, a little fruit. Hmm. Very All right, faint. let's dive in. Take a taste. Cheers. It's really quite balanced. There's, there's definitely some bitterness happening in there, but it's not sharp. It's not overpowering. That grain bill really helps to prop that up and support kind of that bitterness. Floral, grapefruit, um, yeah, it's this is good. I don't know, I actually um, think that it's quite bitter uh, for just a, a basic 6% beer. Um, yeah, it's it's crispy a little bit. I think it's a bit too light bodied. I would like it to have a little really? bit you more body. So? Wow, I don't know, I think it's pretty much perfect. I'm not finding a lot of faults with this one, to be honest. This is right up my alley. I mean, this is like, it's got a great approachable alcohol level. It's really well balanced. Just like the can says, it really is balanced. Um, it's got some intricate sort of hop characteristics going on. There's some like fruitiness and some more earthy and dense notes happening in there. Um, and it drinks really easily. Not over carbonated, not under carbonated. Yeah. Just really uh, nicely brewed beer. Well, that being said, on a scale of one to four, with one being don't buy this beer, two being pretty average, three being awesome and well-brewed, and four being extraordinary, what would you rate the Harpoon original IPA? Two. Two. Mm, I'm gonna go with a three on this one, to be honest. I mean, I don't think it's awesome. Um, I, think it's a, it's, I think it's a little below average. I mean, by today's standards, I'll yeah. agree that it's a basic beer. Um, but there's something about a basic beer that I sometimes just really like. I like how simplistic 
a single malt, single hot beer can be. I like how simplistic this beer is, but it still has sort of a complex character to it without going overboard and being a haze bomb or being an adjunct laden beer or something like that, or maybe too sweet, whatever the case. So that's why I respect it a little bit more highly than, than probably a lot of people do. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.